Balancing chemical equations. The easiest way that I have found is for you to basically list the elements below the yield sign. That's the arrow. So we're going to take Al and we're going to take oxygen. Al stands for aluminum, or for those of you in England, aluminium. And you want to um, <clears throat> you want to list how many are on the reactant side. That's the left side. And how many are on the product side? That's on the right side. On the left side, we have one aluminum. That is one on the reactant side. And we have to uh, then also go with how many oxygens are on the reactant side. And there's two. On the product side, we have two aluminums and three oxygens. Now, nothing is balanced. Nothing is the same on both sides. So, remember, this is the reactant side, and this is the product side. So, I want the same... You want to basically go with the balancing the most complex uh, formula. So, you're going to go with this one. And it would be easy. We could just basically have... Uh, the you know balance the aluminums, but let's go with the oxygens because it has an odd number. That one's the more difficult one. So I have three over on the product side and two on the reactant side. So we can just do basic multiplication and put a two in front of here, in front of the aluminum uh, oxide, and um, and then we will have to figure out how many elements now are on the uh, uh, or how many total pieces of, of each element is on the product side. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And now and still nothing is balanced, but it looks a lot easier. Try to leave the singletons, ones elements that have no subscript, and try to leave the uh, diatomic molecules, elements that have uh, two on, this, on the subscript. Um, so uh, we want the same number of oxygens on both sides. I have six now on the product side. I want six on the reactant side. So we can take and do the reverse of what we did on the aluminum oxide. Put three in front of the oxygen. Three times two is, that's right, six. And so the oxygens are balanced. I now have four aluminums on the product side. I want four aluminums on the reactant side. So what number would I have to put in front? Because remember, you cannot change the subscripts. You cannot change the subscripts. You cannot change the subscripts. If there's a blank here, you cannot put any number. You can put, if it's blank, you can put ones. Um, if that helps you remember that there's only one, but you cannot change any of the subscripts because then you change the formulas and you change the compounds. So <clears throat> what we have to do is we want four aluminums on the product side, on the reactant side. So we're going to put four in front of here and we have four times one that equals, that's right, four. Now we are balanced because we have six uh, six alum, uh, oxygens uh, on the reactant side, six on the product, four oxygens on the aluminum side, four oxygens on the, I'm sorry, four aluminums on the reactant side, four aluminums on the product side, and it's balanced.